So that's the monument, the monument that signifies the unification of California and Nevada. I don't know about you, but I've always been a bigger proponent of individual states' rights. A lot of NCR soldiers milling about here. One or two on guard duty, but it feels like they're not accomplishing much being stationed here. Which doesn't surprise me, the NCR is terrible at managing their resources. Bureaucracy, you know. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or...? Legionary. Uh, uh, citizen. Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Is he who I speak to to get some work done around here? He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. Well, I aim to fill that with even worse news. Goodbye. Sir, looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. I just came from the north. Didn't seem to have too much of a problem myself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Giant ants giving you trouble. I think I can deal with that. Thanks, I appreciate it. Killing all of the giant ants to clear away the supply line is something that would help out the NCR. But what's the opposite of that? If I'm trying to hurt the NCR, what can I do for these giant ants to make them more of a fighting force? Here you go, little ants. Plenty of blood sausages. I've been gathering these for myself. They're really tasty, but if you want some, by all means, eat up. Not many people know this, but the blood sausage is a power food, giving you all the nutrients you need to grow up to be big and strong. And it doubles as an aphrodisiac. Quite the power food indeed! Results are almost instantaneous. Oh yes, and quite the aphrodisiac as well! <laughs> Woohoo! They are in a breeding frenzy right now. I'm not going to intrude on this. I think my job is done here. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. I'm not a courier, but do you have any problems? I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. Yes, the powder gangers do seem to be more prolific than normal as of late. But this is beneath me. Why don't you go check it out? Got my post. Don't think I wouldn't go too. If troubles hit Nipton, town's got enough camping spots to rack up some easy kills. Not about to have Jackson bust my ass again, though. Even if I came back with Caesar's head, I'd rather be sitting here than in a cell. <laughs> you wish you could come back with Caesar's head. Welcome to Nipton. Yep, I see where the smoke is coming from. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. This is just lovely. <laughs> Wait, is that a powder ganger? Oh, no, you crucified the powder gangers. I was trying to ally myself with those guys. You're making me look the fool. Yeah, by the way, I wanted to talk to you about this. You know how last week I said I was allying myself with the Powder Gangers? How I did the whole thing at the NCRCF? Helped them fight off the raid from the NCR? Yeah, drawing a blank there, buddy. We It was a big old battle. You criticized me for not running face first into battle. Mm, called me a that coward. That sounds like something I would say, but you, continue. You called me a coward. You said my ancestors would be ashamed. You said you were going to crucify me if I ever did that again. Uh, that sounds like something I would do. Why did you have the Powder Gangers crucified? I needed those people to harass the NCR. The Powder Gangers are a crucial resource. There aren't a lot of factions out there opposing the NCR. I mean, there are, but... Ah, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Everything I did the last two weeks is for nothing now. Welcome to life, buddy. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. 
It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of Nipson, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, well, I'd like you to move west towards the Mojave outpost, to let the profligates there know about the little sermon I prepared for them here. Wait, hang on a second. Were you talking to Gavin? Yes. I didn't put that guy in charge. I put the, the one dude with the, the fox on his head. Yeah, Wilpes. Yeah, I put him in charge. Yeah, he wasn't there. Since when does Gavin think he's in charge? Gavin's always screwing up. He's a kiss ass. Picks his nose. He's got those stupid nasal labial folds. I hate those things. Stupid haircut, too. <laughs> it's the, the dumbest bowl cut I've ever seen. <laughs> It would be fine if it was a normal bowl cut, but like some days he'll come back and it'll be slanted off to one side. And I'm just like, Gavin, please put the bowl straight on your head. Use a mirror or something. No, anyway, okay, I, oh God. Secretary, where was Volpez? That's a corpse. That's the slave you killed last week and you haven't replaced yet. I'm surprised you haven't noticed the smell. Mental note, get new secretary. I don't think we've met and I'm pretty familiar with everybody in Caesar's Legion. Who are you? I am Gaben, of Kaisar's Legion. I serve my master as the one of his frumentari. No, he's not! He literally fills the percolator coffee pot! That's all he does! What message would you like me to relay? Where to begin? That you are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of your moral sickness, your dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all covers, so long as they paid. I'm gonna write this down. Profligate troops, powder gangers, or men of the Legion. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. A town of whores? For a pittance, the Great will pace and Kulta inveigled this town to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. In a trap? Only when it was sprung did they realize they were caught inside it, too. So you captured everybody? Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins. The foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when the legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. Should I also throw something in there about the purity of the legion's justice? You were unusually bright for a profligate. Well done. Well... Now go and teach what you've learned here. There will be more lessons in the days ahead. Well, that was quite a mouthful. I'll try and relay as much of that as I can. Hey. Hello, soldier. I've got good news for you. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Smoke trail's not getting any shorter. Yeah, they're just burning a pile of tires. Also, Legion attacked. Everyone's crucified. Most people are dead. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. Nope. That's not outside the border. They're moving in. And fast. Oh, yes. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Fucking Mojave's gone to hell, and all I can do is sit here and watch. Uh, more like drag to heaven. If you believe in the Legion's message, then maybe, maybe this is a good thing. Hello, I see you've got a Legionary tied up near your camp. Hey, we've got a problem maybe you can help us with. My friend and I were on the way south to Arizona when we stopped to make camp. Seemed like a good spot with the water and all. Thing is, we hadn't even filled up our canteens when this Legion fella just walks up to the pond like we ain't even here. He probably didn't see you guys as a threat. Well, we may not be soldiers, but we still have guns. Yeah. Granted, me and my friend here were shaking so bad I don't know if either of us could shoot straight. Yeah, exactly. So, what are you going to do with him? I was thinking of taking him to the NCR outpost and let them figure out what to do with him. The NCR will shoot him on sight. They might shoot you, too, for standing too close. That's what I'm afraid of. The other option was just to cut him loose. But if you want, you can talk to him first. See if you can't figure out what he's really up to. Have you said anything so far? Not much. Just that he ain't Legion. He used to be, but not anymore. I mean, most of what he says makes sense. The problem is, knowing what we know about the Legion, it makes a whole lot more sense for him to lie. All right, I'll talk to him. Me and my friend are going to talk it over some more. But if you want to make it easier on us, be my guest. Yeah, you two look like you're really invested in this. Hey-ho, how are you doing? 
you seem unsure of how to proceed. Be wary. Hesitation brings consequences. When you're as tough as I am, you can make little mistakes here and there. Then you're no different than the profligates who took me prisoner. Whoa! Their guns make them feel safe. But in the end, I'm the one who will decide their fate. Who exactly are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm an assassin. One of Kaisar's best. But I'm not here on Legion business. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm no longer part of their tribe. Ooh, I hope you're not telling me you're a deserter. That would be bad. It was over a disagreement with my superiors. The Dekanu saw me without my armor, and mistook me for something I'm not. The argument ended with his death. Oh, uh, okay. See, I thought you had abandoned the ideals of the Legion. You just killed somebody in your chain of command. Maybe it was for the right reasons. I won't pry into it. I can tell you let these guys capture you. If you were a true Legion, you would be able to break out. What are you planning to do with them? Their lives are already forfeit. Whether it's me that kills them, or the desert, is irrelevant. But I will say this. If I'm their executioner, I can promise you it won't be painless. Take it from me. You don't need to dirty your hands on menial tasks. If it's fate that they die, they will die. True. There's no point making an example of them when Kaisar himself would deny my existence. Where were you headed when these men confronted you? Does it matter? The Legion will overrun this entire land. All that's left to do is wander and wait for Kaisar's verdict. I don't know what to make of you, stranger. You seem to believe in the ideals of the Legion, but you wander without purpose. Follow me and I will give you direction. Interesting. I'm not sure if you're a friend to Kaisar or an enemy. In that regard, we're part of the same tribe. I like to keep them guessing. Very well. I'll join your pack. Time will tell if you're worthy of leading it. And I suppose time will tell if you're worthy of being in my pack. I think the three of us will be able to get a lot done. Many hands make light work, as they say. I say we just shoot him. Right in the head. You know what I said earlier about fate? Truth is, I don't really believe in fate. And that's what I did this weekend! And all I did was take some cooking classes. At the, at the learning annex? Yeah, I went down to the learning annex, took some cooking classes. We started out, I learned how to make a roux, um, which was really nice. And then uh, I kind of made like a lasagna. I, what? Anyway, okay, uh, I don't know how I got so off track. Questioning your life choices? Yeah. I always wanted to be a cook, but I just kind of fell into the whole Centurion lifestyle. You know how it goes. And also, we have our slaves do all the cooking anyway. Yeah. They're so bad at it. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Is I, it really that much to ask to put a little bit of spice in there? It, 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 careful what you ask for, because they don't know salt from sugar. It's either burnt to a crisp or it's underdone. You keep complaining about the food. This is why you don't have good food, because every time you get something remotely good, it's not good enough, so you execute the person who made it. Well, they gotta learn somehow! Anyway, really quick question. I I didn't realize it when Mike was telling the story, but now that I see you here, and look at you, and hear you say stuff, you seem like you might kind of be a woman! You presuming this person's gender? No, oh, no, 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 I'm not, oh, I ain't getting sued for that one. Never mind, don't, fine, welcome to the team. I, I wouldn't want to have to report you into HR or anything. Ooh, oh, oh, God! Anyway, I would do to Kaisar and all that. Yeah, true to Kaisar. Mm -hmm. uh, have a great day. Um, also, when you see my secretary, tell her... Um, She's still dead on the floor behind you. Oh, shit.